Hello everybody and welcome back to another math learning video. Today I brought you guys a geometry problem where we have to find this red area of this figure here, okay? So what is this figure? So we have a rectangle here and a semicircle attached. And this rectangle has already has been split up into four triangles. And one side length of the triangle here is 10. And this side length of the rectangle is equal to 16, okay? And we need to find the red area. So let's go ahead and get started. So what do we do first? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break up this rectangle or this triangle per se in the rectangle in half like this. Now, why would I do that? I do that because now I broke, I made these lines perpendicular, right? So this means that there is a right angle here and this is halfway in the of this side length of the rectangle. So I know that this side length here is eight, right? Because eight is half of 16. And this side length here is 10. So this is a right triangle, which means that the Pythagorean theorem applies to this triangle. And we know that we already know two side lengths, so our B value and our hypotenuse here of 10. So now we can use Pythagorean theorem. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared in order to find our a value here, in order to find this value, okay? So a squared plus b squared, our b is 8 in this case. So 8 squared is equal to c squared. Our c is equal to 10. Okay, that's our hypotenuse, 10 squared. So a squared plus 8 squared is 64 is equal to 10, 100. So now subtract 64 from both sides. And we get that a squared is equal to 36, and then square root of that. To get that, our A value is equal to 6, okay? So 36 squared would normally be plus or minus 6, but since we're working with geometry, we can't have a negative number, so our A value is equal to 6, okay? So we found that value. So now we found that this value is 6, but what can we do with this value? Where there are multiple steps we can do with this, so first thing that we can do is that this value, this side length, right, goes from the middle of the circle to the edge. So that is the radius of this circle or half semicircle per se, right? So since we have the radius, we can figure out the area of the semicircle, okay? So the area of a circle, right? Area of a circle is equal to pi r squared, right? And then since we have half of a circle here, the area of this is going to be equal to one half pi r squared, okay? And our r we know is equal to six. That's what we found. So the area of the circle, of the semicircle, and put as, is equal to one half pi six squared, which is equal to one half pi six squared is 36. Now we can put the one half and 36 together. So that will give us 18 pi, okay? So that is the area of the semicircle here, okay? So we got figured the area of the semicircle. Now we just need to find the area of this triangle here. So how do you find the area of a triangle? So what is the area of a triangle? The area of a triangle is simply one half, oops, it's one half base times height, okay? So our base here is so we know that our base here is the diameter of the circle if we can see here right and the diameter of the circle is just two times this r value two times the radius of six so it's simply this side length is equal to 12 right so that is our base value so area of the triangle is equal to one half 12 and then our height is we already figured this out our height goes like this and this is equivalent to the half of the side of length of the triangle of the rectangle, excuse me, which we figured out to be eight. So the area of our triangle is equal to one half times twelve, which is equal to six times eight. Six times eight is equal to forty-eight. Okay. So now our final answer of the total area of this red area is going to be equal to. 48 plus 18 pi, okay? So you can, if you want to use a calculator, you can use that to get an exact answer. 
but I'm just going to keep it simplified or keep it like written like this. Yes. And we don't have units, but since it's area, it's going to be squared. So I'll just put units squared. Okay. Cause area means squared. And that is our final answer. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye.